you can hear the complete uh, the complete presentation throughout. That will be a pleasure. I'm looking forward to it. And best like again, I'm making myself mute right now. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, Harlime. Uh, and all of you, I would like to thank you for participating in our webinar. I hope it will be useful for you and uh, you will get uh, really important information from it and from our presentation. Uh, also, you are uh, welcome to exchange your contacts uh, with uh, all the participation from the webinar. If you would like to do this, you can just uh, click on the chat window and uh, share your name, company, and your contact details, and uh, you can connect uh, uh, between each other. Uh, we have people from Malaysia, India, Hong Kong, and Philippines. So now let's begin. Uh, just to remind you that uh, at the end of the presentation, we will have a question and answer session, uh, which will be available in this Zoom call. Uh, so you're kindly invited also to put during the presentation to put your questions below in the chat window. Uh, so we can see them and uh, answer after the presentation finish. Okay, so let's begin now. Uh, this is the map of Europe. Uh, the Balkan Peninsula is uh, essential part of it. It is located in the southeastern part of Europe and uh, covers uh, so many countries. Uh, uh, the, the thing is that um, most of these countries are uh, not in the EU and uh, respectively not in the Schengen zone, but uh, in the same time, uh, they have um, uh, like internal regulation that they are accepting uh, tourists to come with Schengen visa. So uh, if you travel, for example, uh, for in two, three, four, or five countries, separate countries which are not members of Schengen zone, uh, you don't need to issue separate visa for each of the countries. You can use your Schengen visa and travel all around. This is uh, not a problem of all. Uh, at all. Uh, of course, uh, you should have a multiple entry Schengen visa and uh, uh, use as uh, inbound airport, uh, like some Western European airport, like Vienna, Prague, Budapest, Munchen, Munich, Thessaloniki, or Athens. Uh, this is for the uh, for the Balkans, uh, just to say a few words about uh, Buyana MG travel, probably some of you knows already our company, like uh, Halime and Faru. Hello, Faru. Uh, we are uh, already 24, 25 years on the market uh, as internal, as international tourism. And uh, we gathered a uh, big experience in this period. Uh, in fact, uh, just yesterday, we celebrated our 25th anniversary, which is already a quarter of century. We have a little party here in the office. And uh, uh, if I forgot uh, my words or some slides, uh, please excuse me, because <laughs> yesterday was a hard evening. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, just to mention that uh, uh, we have uh, main office, our main office in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, and also we have branch offices in Plovdiv, Varna, and seasonal office in Sunny Beach. This is in Bulgaria. Uh, also abroad, we have office in Sibiu, Romania, and. Um, uh, Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, with uh, opening these uh, branch offices outside Bulgaria, we are aiming to cover the most of the Balkan region uh, as territory and uh, to assure with that uh, adequate support to our, our clients uh, being traveling throughout the Balkans. 
Uh, what uh, I just wanted to tell a few words about uh, Buyana MG as a company, just briefly, uh, our strengths are uh, first uh, uh, the long-term presence on the market. And uh, because of this, uh, we had uh, very good connections with uh, local suppliers, which we are uh, like a friend since years. And uh, based on that, we have really good prices from hotels, transport companies, restaurants, attractions and uh, everything. Uh, also, uh, we, we would like to offer to our clients and partners flexibility in preparation of the tour programs because we think that uh, nowadays it is very, very important. Uh, that's why we, uh, we are trying to think some out of the box uh, not only in um, making the tour problems, but also in uh, solving different problems and issues, which uh, sometimes, of course, happens. Uh, also, uh, I would like to assure you that um, uh, from us, you will uh, receive kind and friendly attitude uh, rather than cold business approach and thinking, which is uh, valid for some other companies worldwide. Uh, now let's get to the main topic of uh, this workshop. And this is uh, about the Europe after COVID-19 and uh, the new possibilities and travel trends. Um, actually, uh, during the pandemic time, and especially in this year, 2021, uh, there was a huge tourist flow uh, in Bulgaria or in some European countries, but it was uh, approximately 18% uh, uh, domestic tourism. The hotels was overbooked, the transport company as well, so uh, really the people which cannot travel abroad, they travel in the country because, you know, traveling is like uh, in the each human DNA <laughs> these days. And uh, um, for those who are not uh, possible to travel abroad, for sure they're traveling at least inbound. Uh, we had some uh, also traveling uh, between neighbors, the closest neighbors, but uh, this was uh, for 2020 and 2021. Uh, for 2022 and 23, we are expecting step-by-step uh, step, uh, to have also international travelers, not only international uh, Europe to Europe, but also some overseas travels. Uh, the, the good news is that uh, in Europe, we have uh, already uh, unified travel, travel rules and um, the things are more or less clear as a way of traveling. Uh, so that is important question, uh, how you can travel to Europe? And of course, there are uh, three equally effective ways. The first, way is if you have a uh, vaccination with complete course made. Second is uh, if you present a negative PCR or, or antigen test. And the third possibility is uh, if you show a uh, medical document proving uh, recovery from COVID and uh, uh, presence of the antibodies so you cannot uh, be infected with COVID or uh, something like that. Uh, but, uh, you know, the situation is uh, quite dynamic, dynamic and uh, I would like to ask you for more up-to-date information, just give us a call or mail us or chat us, whatever you want. Uh, we will be watching uh, what is happening all around Europe and the Balkans and we can provide you the complete up-to-date information in this regard. Uh, for your information and uh, maybe the calm and um, 
uh, good uh, feeling of uh, your future tourists is that uh, uh, already 55% of the European population have been vaccinated already. Uh, so uh, in Europe, there is uh, really big protection. And um, the forecast is that by spring or summer of next year, this percent can be uh, re can reach uh, up to 65 or I hope 17. Uh, nobody knows. Uh, but uh, it's important to say that um, now we are talking, we are saying a statistic about uh, the Europe as a continent. Uh, if we are talking about European Union and the countries inside, uh, this percentage is uh, much higher. It's about uh, 69. But let's talk about Europe as a continent and especially uh, as Balkans, because uh, this example is uh, much more important. Uh, now, uh, I will uh, give you uh, the words uh, to uh, your second lecture. This is my colleague Christo, who will tell you more about uh, the travel trends in 2022 and the most trending products from now on. Christo? Thank you, Nikolai. <clears throat> so, first of all, hello from me as well. Um, I would like to thank you all for watching this webinar presentation. In our opinion, companies in the travel industry need to cooperate in starting um, international and also intercontinental travel after the initial hit that we have all taken from this horrible pandemic. Um, our mutual efforts to overcome the difficulties that we are facing will be absolutely vital. We need to work hand in hand and exchange ideas and also support each other because all of us have the same goal. We, we want to make clients happy and we want them to make them feel secure to travel once more. Um, so can we move to the next slide? Nikolai? Okay, thank you. So, <clears throat> In 2020, when we talked about um, post-COVID travel in the ongoing pandemic, we usually meant uh, tourism when the situation will be behind us and this virus will only be an unpleasant memory. Well, <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, we had grown to realize that it's not going to be quite like that. COVID-19 won't disappear in a day or in a week or a month or a year. Um, the global vaccination allowed countries to take a break from the uh, tiring lockdowns from which uh, I'm sure we all have suffered in one way or another, but the problem is not resolved completely. So we need to adjust to the regulations that still need to be enforced. Um, Nikolai talked about different types of documents and explained in detail uh, what and where will be needed. We, as a tour operator, are doing everything to ensure the smooth passing of our groups under the current circumstances. We are always in contact with suppliers, um, restaurants, hotels, uh, museums, and so on, uh, to make sure the procedures, the new procedures that are required, um, go quick and efficient. For example, uh, if a group has to visit a, a museum, has it included in the itinerary, or a meal where a certain document at the present time has to be has to be shown, it, it doesn't have to cause havoc or stress in the in the group in the tourists, uh, and that's that's what we that's what we are aiming for to to organize in advance so the tourists won't the tourists won't have nothing to worry about. Our goal is to make them feel secure and comfortable um, when everything goes smoothly and is well organized between us and the suppliers. Our mutual clients will feel relaxed and safe, which will be a nice change from the uncertainty that surrounded 
international travel in the past now nearly two two years and uh, in 2022 in our opinion nationwide regulations and also regulations in the whole european union will change less frequently than by now and will be far more predictable that will allow us to plan all details and inform our clients properly this will give them uh, on the other hand the much needed security to plan their journeys in advance uh, and not to not to have some only last minute programs or something, but also for longer periods of time in advance. Um, so to cope with the new circumstances, we took many steps when preparing the, the tours as a company. We are implying a strict safety protocol during uh, transportation, for example. Our buses, uh, buses are equipped with hand sanitizing stations, air filtration systems, and some even have UV light uh, sanitization that can be used when tourists are outside of the bus. Um, we do a regular um, discussions with our tour guides um, to plan the trips that we are planning or materializing so that we make sure everything is organized uh in the best possible way for the current time being um we provide the possibility of social distancing during the itineraries uh, also whatever else might be needed at a certain place at a certain time like face masks or as we discussed documents or anything else um, we try to do our best to make uh, the plants feel secure and uh, enjoy the, the trips without um, without any worries so for next year, uh, in our opinion, the, the main profile of travelers will be the so-called FIPs. Tourists from around the world were already starting to prefer traveling in small groups with an emphasis on experience. Um, in my opinion, the pandemic just catalyzed this process because now it makes even more sense to travel in, in such a way, to avoid crowded places, travel with friends, and um, to share the journey, feel like they're in a safe environment. Um, most tourists no longer want to be constantly on the road, passing by numerous places and landmarks with time just to take a picture and move on to the, to the next one. They want to talk to locals. Um, they want to find out more about their present and their and the past, um, their unique traditions and ritual, rituals. Try out, uh, of course, traditional cuisine has always been a, a main part of, of tours, but now they they even want to experience it more. Uh, visit secluded places with beautiful nature. Well. In general, those will be, in our opinion, the main things to which most clients will look for next year. And um, for such type of travel, I think that Bulgaria and the Balkans in general are a great destination. Here, every country has its unique nature, history and culture, and it might take time to dive into the atmosphere and truly experience a journey, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, for example, as you see on this slide, we have the famous ritual, Mr. Nasto, which is um, basically a barefoot dance over hot glowing embers. Um, over the past decade, um, it turned into a sort of a mass touristic event. Uh, many restaurants in Bulgaria are uh, using it as a spectacle to add to a, to a folklore dinner. And uh, to be honest, clients really like it. And they should because it's, it's really great. But what we can do more, for example, to, to be even more authentic is, for example, to take them to the place where it all started, to the picturesque mountain of, of Stranja, to have them meet with locals that have passed this uh, um, ritual through the generations and um, realize from where it all came from, uh, what, what does it mean, the legends. All of this will, will make an incredible travel experience. Um, another thing is the famous Bulgarian rose oil. Uh, I'm sure all of you have heard of it. Um, most of the tours that um, 
that are operated in Bulgaria, plus to the Rolls Valley. And uh, most of the groups have a stopover to um, buy some cosmetics with rose oil or maybe visit the, the uh, Museum of the Rose. But we would love plan again to go even further, for example, uh, to have small groups take them onto the rose fields, um, have them pick up the rose petals by their own or speak with um, uh, with workers on the rose fields or with owners of uh, small distilleries to, to really see what this craft, because it's not only a business in the modern sense, it, it's also a craft and what it meant in our cultural heritage. Um, and that is what we aim for when we arrange the programs for next year. Um, specialized itineraries and lots of authentic experiences that we can offer while arranging custom-made programs. And um, as a matter of fact, um, we are a bit lucky in that sense uh, because we had always prided ourselves in arranging great custom-made tools um, we have the flexibility and we have the knowledge gathered through the years of experience. Uh, as Nick Y said yesterday, uh, we had our 25th anniversary and we definitely get something to show for it. So uh, basically, you just have to give us a request with some general guidelines and we can arrange a unique custom made product designed especially for, you, for your clients' preferences. Uh, if you don't have any specific requests, we can always send you great ideas, which are which we are preparing now. Uh, and of course, we can adjust them if, if you if you want something to be done a bit differently. And for the specifics of the products for next year, my colleague uh, Victoria Dimitro will go to to details of our tours that we are planning. Because Hello, and from me, and thank you very much for joining our uh, webinar, and to my colleagues for all the information uh, said so far, it is, uh, yeah, this is the world uh, nowadays, and we have to cope with that, uh, somehow it's going to be better than before uh, and uh, as uh, nowadays are changing uh, the world is changing so people are changing as well uh, as uh, for the past two years uh, most of us have been or home or traveling domestically but uh, if we have the chance uh, i'm sure most of us and our tourists We'll hop on a, uh, on a plane and uh, go see what's going on around the world after these two years, because uh, let's uh, let's uh, say it's uh, it's uh, a lot uh, have been changed uh, during that uh, that time, and uh, even if a uh, place that we have been uh, so far, maybe it have been changed or we are changed. I don't know. Maybe both together. On this slide. Uh, um, uh, you can see different countries uh, from the Balkan Peninsula, uh, not only Bulgaria, but our neighboring countries from the Balkans um, are also part of our um, new image for the tours uh, because we are all together uh, with uh, different nation nationalities maybe, but uh, very common in, uh, in our history and uh, and the area in general. Uh, so in pa the past two years, we have um, tried to see how the things work and where the things were going actually, and who are going to be the first uh, to, to go up on that lane and uh, uh, go uh, into the world again. And it would be those professional travelers we all know those uh, people in uh, our friends, uh, in our tourists, of course, as well, who have been to more than, to say, 90, country, 90 countries. Uh, so they know what to expect and uh, where is the time, when is the time to go again. 
So uh, we prefer that we think that those who are the uh, were going to be the first to go overseas, not only domestically or the neighbor uh, neighboring uh, countries. So um, uh, those uh, experienced travelers and of course uh, smaller groups of family or friends, uh, just to be maybe on psychologically uh, speaking safe side uh, because the trend is uh, that um, everything is going to be uh, more calmly in the next uh, next year or uh, year after that so we have to just um, uh, have to fit inside uh, the, the the changing world and in in that way uh, the trend uh, is maybe to search for more authenticity and more out-of-the-box uh, uh, tour and programs. And um, as you see on this slide, a very interesting uh, program uh, and different ideas connected with that program is to go and tour by a camper. Uh, this is a very good uh, image here showing that some people want to travel yeah, and to see, but they want to be away from the crowd for some time to have uh, to get up on their own time, uh, maybe if their family and um, some uh, children want to uh, to sleep on or etc. Uh, uh, and by that, uh, the itinerary is ready. Uh, everything that a tour, uh, a tourist, your tourist uh, would want is uh, on the go. So you ha have the program, you have the guide, you have the visiting of the site, you have the city tour, everything. And of course, you're going to be accommodated in a more than a five star hotel because in the um, camps you're going to be under the sky so <laughs> why not <laughs> uh, they are equipped with everything modern that you're going to uh, need uh, for uh, accommodation in a camper you're going to try you can travel uh, only on one camper or maybe two three four uh, and you know you're as uh, maybe alone, but not alone. Uh, the two things are connected. So uh, yeah, it's very out of the box uh, tour. Uh, another um, perspective that we are thinking is uh, remote destinations. So away from the crowds, um, not uh, in the big cities, so maybe some of the mountains or the or. or uh, or in some uh, lowlands, uh, but uh, to be fed uh, with delicious, lo delicious local meals like this pastry here that you're seeing, uh, uh, banitsa, filo pastry with uh, cheese and yogurt. And if you are thinking that, uh, yeah, your tourists are going to be eating this uh, banitsa on the to on, on this mountain top, uh, uh, which is also a very interesting uh, tradition site. So the two things are connected, uh, uh, relaxation and full belly. Uh, uh, who would, would want to go and do that? So uh, other perspectives are with uh, more nature lovers, those who want to go uh, on a specific place, uh, like maybe lake or, um, or maybe a mountain, a specific mountain. Here in the Balkans, we have more than 10 mountains. Each and every one of them is uh, different. Uh, not only when, with the greenery and flora and fauna inside, but uh, it is different in each and every way. Um, my colleague Christo have uh, just mentioned Stranja. It is uh, to say the mystical uh, mountain. Rodopi is uh, also connected with the Thracian uh, civilization and uh, many remains are over there. So you can be connected with uh, um, uh, the historical part of, uh, of for the Balkans and the interesting uh, uh, things that have been left to us from the past civilizations. They're not to be missed, they're very unique. Uh, but also another um, uh, not standard way of uh, touring is adventure tours. They're uh, at first to say they're 
uh, very well for uh, for everybody, and they are connected with specific interests for um, every individual. So for this slide, uh, it represents a tour that we are uh, we have uh, prepared uh, with horse riding. It can be only uh, a day uh, a day ride or maybe it can be a couple or three or four or five days from the tour that you're on the horse and uh, going around different sites uh, sleeping in uh, different mountain huts or housing or hotels depends on uh, the traveler's uh, needs and wishes of course, from the beginning, we are preparing uh, everything in advance and very flexible. Uh, maybe if uh, they are keen on fishing or hunting, or maybe they they want to go rafting uh, or um, off-roading with buggies, uh, or of course, if uh, they are bike lovers, uh, there are lots of trails uh, in uh, coming passing actually uh, through the Balkan Peninsula so they can join in or we can do a specific tour for your clients or uh, uh, just for them uh, and it depends on, on the season if it is warm it, it can be around uh, the seashore the black seashore uh, also can be for a day uh, for a day trip or combined uh, to uh, overnight in different uh, locations. Uh, just to say that everything is soft adventure, so they cannot, they are not strictly for professionals. Uh, everybody can join in and it, it, it's going to be explained uh, and will be, of course, uh, guided throughout the time. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, um, the grabbing thing here is that all of the tours can uh, are with uh, personal approach and feelings. So depending on the your tourist needs and wishes, uh, the accommodation may be uh, a more luxury accommodation. <laughs> yes, like this, and uh, they can be maybe acting if they want, uh, they can rest on the beach, they can sleep in five-star hotels, of course, um, they are remote or in the big cities, you can see the privacy there also. Uh, but you can see, uh, you, can, uh, you can sleep also in the authentic places, uh, in different authentic places, um, and see different sizes such real monastery uh the big carpet uh, factory this is the unique uh, the unique place in rodopi uh, and actually it's a very small factory making a huge uh carpet and uh, with of course very famous uh, uh purchasers um like uh, the queen and Mick jagger of course have been are walking uh, about the uh, the carpets from uh, from this little factory. Uh, yeah, unique unique uh, sites can be visited here in our premises, and also you can sleep in such a unique uh, premises uh, as um, with such a views as uh, in Plovdiv, as in Veliko Trnovo, uh, the fortress. Uh, you can taste, you can hands on do uh, different crafts and the craftsman can do, uh, to, can, can show you and help you and uh, let you do uh, um, by yourself. Here is a picture of a pottery maker, but there are plenty of uh, things that uh, can be, uh, can be done around Bulgaria and the Balkans and you can be taught and small groups are the perfect fit for that because you have the time and uh, not only to listen but to do it by yourself and maybe to take something for uh, after you finish uh, this is for the more luxury oriented pe people and traveling with children we have big aqua parks uh, for where you can also accommodate so not only to be authentic as such but you can do and uh, the out of the box accommodation with aqua park uh yes next yes uh 
And of course, to the other side, you can sleep as our ancestors did in the prehistorical time. This is in uh, also in the mountains, accommodation, looking outside as uh, the prehistorical times uh, building, but inside have uh, every needed uh, luxury uh, accommodation for comfort stay. Uh, so everything uh, you can be, you, you can do you can down and sleep in the uh, different uh, places, but <clears throat> taste different uh, uh, dishes. <coughs> I'm sorry. And uh, just to know that uh, the tours can sp can can be spread from uh, from couple of days up until ten days. Everything depends on uh, on the travelers' needs, and we can do uh, uh, according to the wishes. Uh, so we have plenty of ideas and uh, new new tours. Uh, that is from us. Uh, uh, thank you very much for listening to us. And uh, ho I hope and my colleagues too, that uh, we have been of help. Uh, looking forward to hearing your questions, if you have any or to start. Yes. Any questions or not? Otherwise, it was very uh, good to uh, 